Good afternoon. This is Brett Hayworth for Siouxland Public Media News. Tourism is down in the Iowa Great Lakes after heavy rains and high water forced officials to issue boating restrictions. The executive director of Vacation Okoboji, Kylie Zankowski, estimates flooding has decreased tourism by 40 to 60 percent. We're a very seasonal community, so we definitely depend on tourists coming here. And so it's, it's been a pretty big hit, especially hitting around the biggest holiday of the summer with the 4th of July. Zankowski says some local hotel occupancy was cut in half during the recent holiday. But she says there's some hope as water levels and water quality continue to improve. Plus, the area offers other attractions, such as an amusement park, food, and entertainment. The crowds attending a Saturday free concert at the Green Space area in Arnold's Park was visibly less than usual size. Additionally, officials say they're working to make sure that school districts impacted by flooding start on time in late August, which is about five weeks away. Iowa Department of Education Director Mackenzie Snow says public school districts in Spencer and Rock Valley and the Rock Valley Christian School are dealing with extensive losses and damage. Snow told KUOO News that those schools have lost instructional items, damaged buses, and learning spaces like libraries, band rooms, and classrooms have been impacted by the late June flooding. Some students in Rock Valley and Spencer have had their homes completely damaged. Snow said some progress has been made. Her agency has been working to locate portable classrooms in other school districts that can be transferred to Spencer and Rock Valley. Last year, more than 2,000 students were enrolled in Spencer, and the public schools in Rock Valley had just under 1,000 students. Plus, there were about 230 students enrolled at Rock Valley Christian School. In other news, the campaign to put a South Dakota abortion rights measure before voters in November claimed a major victory Monday in a state court. A circuit court judge ruled in favor of Dakotans for Health the grassroots organization which is behind Amendment G. He granted a motion to dismiss a lawsuit filed by an anti-abortion group, Life Defense Fund, that had sought to keep the measure off the ballot, according to South Dakota Newswatch. For Siouxland Public Media News, I'm Brett Hayworth. Check out this and other news at our website, kwit.org.